Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The Java type counter problem on hacker rank requires you to count the number of occurrences of each type of object in a collection. This typically involves using collections such as ArrayList and a hash map to store and count the occurrences of various types. Hashtag 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 problem overview. You are given a list of objects, and you need to count how many of each type there are. The types could be any class that extends from object. Hashtag 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 steps to solve the problem. 1. Input the list of objects, read the input data and create a list of objects. 2. Count object types, use a hash map to keep track of the count of each object type. 3. Output the results. Print the type of object and its corresponding count. Hashtag 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 implementation steps. 1. Define the object class, if necessary, define the object classes that will be counted. 2. Read input, use a scanner to read input data and populate a list. 3. Count types using hash map, iterate through the list and use a hash map to count occurrences. 4. Output the results, print the counts in the required format. Hashtag 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 code example. Here is a simple implementation in Java. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. Input handling, the program first takes the number of objects and their string representation. It then parses the input to determine the type of each object. Type counting. The count object types method iterates over the list of objects and uses a hash map to count how many times each type appears. Output, finally, the program prints the counts of each object type. Hashtag 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 conclusion. This tutorial provided a basic solution to the Java type counter problem on hacker rank. You can extend the parse input method to include more object types or customize the input format as needed. This approach can be applied to various similar problems requiring counting or classification of data types.